black hole. This is a black hole in my wallet. So if your wallet has a black hole in it, so there is nothing in it, you may be wondering what are the highest paid PhD degrees out there. So in this video, I will review the top 10 highest paying PhD degrees in 2020. Please bear in mind that this has nothing to do with employability. So this ranking is just based on, on the assumption that you actually get a job in a given field after you graduate with your PhD. Uh, a different ranking is, is one based on student employability. So how likely it is to get a job after your PhD. There are some fields where this employability can be as high as 85% and some fields in which employability is as low as 5%. So please let me know if you want me to record another video in which I review these different PhD degrees based on student employability. So just uh, press the like button under this video if you want me to record uh, this video. So this way I'll know that you like this idea. So now let's dive straight into the top 10 highest paid PhD degrees in 2020. Number 10 in our list is a PhD in psychology. Uh, psychology is actually quite a broad field and it includes uh, a number of well subfields or branches such as clinical psychology, development, developmental psychology, forensic psychology, school psychology and many others. The vast majority of psychologists are clinical psychologists. So, so these make up around 160,000 out of 180,000 psychologists. This data is based on the US. This is where it comes from. Uh, clinical psychologists are responsible for the assessment, diagnosis and treatment of emotional, behavioral and mental disorders. But as a psychologist, you can also work in academia where you will teach and conduct research in psychology. And the top 10 salary of psychologists according to this data is around $130,000 a year. Number nine is a PhD in immunology. Immunologists uh, focus on uh, the area of microbiology that has to do with human immune systems and how it interacts with bacteria and viruses. Uh, primarily they work in research and they often work on developing vaccines, which sounds rather relevant to our current situation in the world. And according to, this, uh, to the data, uh, the top 10 salary of immunologists in 2020 was around $134,000 a year. So number eight is a profession that everybody dreamed of working in as a child, namely mathematics and statistics. After all, it sounds so incredibly interesting and exciting to be working on maths, adding things, working on diff uh, difficult equations, or possibly working in a primary school and being the most hated teacher in your school. Of course, I'm joking. And of course, uh, mathematics and statistics is a much broader field. And you actually get quite a few of uh, different career opportunities. You can be working in academia and working on uh, purely theoretical things, uh, so developing new mathema mathematical theories or conducting research, uh, but you, you will also find uh, these people, so mathematicians and statisticians, working in finance on Wall Street, uh, working on high-end computer and artificial intelligence research, uh, working in economics or behavioral sciences, or even in uh, the data analysis uh, field. And the top 10 salary of uh, mathematicians and statisticians is around $146,000 a year. Number seven is a PhD in engineering. Uh, generally, engineering is one of the highest paying fields in the world. Uh, and under this umbrella profession or term, of engineering there are many 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 other branches of engineering so the five highest paying engineering uh, specialities are petroleum engineers computer hardware engineers aerospace engineers nuclear engineers and electronics engineers and the top 10 salary of these engineers is around 147 thousand dollars a year number six is a phd in the field that is probably also one of the most hated subjects at school, which is a real shame because actually it can be an extremely interesting 
subject if only it was taught in a nice and engaging way which is physics. Nowadays, most high-level physics jobs are in research, whether in an academic, corporate or government setting. But if you want to work in physics, you better be a very patient person, because in most cases, the practical implications of physics research aren't clear until years or even decades or even centuries later. And an example of this is Sir Isaac Newton, who developed the theory of gravity centuries ago and even uh, still to this day little is known about this force however if you are not that patient if you're not willing to wait centuries uh, for the implications of your work to become evident uh, there are also other areas of physics to consider medical physicists for example uh, tend to work in healthcare using physics to develop new medical technologies and the top 10 salary of physicists is around $148,000 a year. Since we are still discussing the topic of my most hated subjects at school, number five is a PhD in chemistry. So generally chemistry is the study of the substances that make up the world around us. There are also different areas of uh, chemistry, such as um, analytical chemists, forensic chemists, medical chemists, organic chemists, or physical chemists. And again, you don't have to be that most hated teacher at school if you want to become a chemist, uh, because actually chemists do have an incredible impact on our society, as it is their experimental research that leads to the development of everything from plastics to medicine to pollution control technologies. And the top 10 salary of chemists is around $157,000 a year. Number four is a PhD in pharmacology. So essentially you are becoming a doctor of pharmacy. Uh, I don't know much about pharmacology, but I do know that it's an incredibly difficult degree to obtain. And also that the most common employers of pharmacists are pharmacies and hospitals, as well as stores, grocery retail stores with pharmacies attached. And the top 10 salary of pharmacists is around $162,000 a year. Number three is a PhD in nursing. Uh, so here, apart from uh, having a very important, of course, an interesting and well-paid job, uh, you also have the satisfaction of uh, having a job title that non-native English speakers like me will never pronounce correctly. Because after doing a PhD in nursing, you can usually work as either a nurse practitioner or a nurse anesthetist. Nurse practitioners serve as primary care providers and are very similar in the way they function to doctors. They assess patients, develop treatments or prescribe medications. The other type of nurses, on the other hand, administer anesthesia for surgical procedures and provide patient care at all stages of the surgical process. And the top 10 salary is around $184,000. Number two is a PhD in economics. And although economics may sound like something extremely boring, it's actually one of the most ambitious fields of study because it attempts to combine the elements of behavioral science, statistics and probability, game theory, and ethics to understand human behavior, make predictions about market trends, and make recommendations about economic policy in order to solve economic problems. So it's an extremely difficult job and most economists focus on just one area, just one specific area of economics, and they collaborate with people who focus on the other area, simply because the subject is too big for one person to study broadly. And the top 10 salary of economists is around $185,000 a year. Did you watch The Terminator or Transcendence and always wanted to be that guy? The guy who develops this artificial intelligence that eventually destroys the human race? If the answer is yes, then a PhD in computer science is just for you. But apart from working on artificial intelligence, computer science PhD holders often work in other cutting edge computer science research, including data science, quantum computing, cryptography, programming languages, or robotics. At the core, computer science researchers tend to be devoted to understanding how to solve very specific complex problems uh, that involve uh, technology and how we use it to automate tasks. 
You can find high-level computer science researchers running their own companies, working for the government in a variety of contexts, working for private corporations and teaching and conducting research at just about every major university in the United States and probably in other countries too. And the top 10 salary of computer scientists is around $189,000 a year. So these were the top 10 highest paying PhD degrees in 2020. They were based on the data from the US, but it is safe to say, uh, to say that it's quite similar across the globe. Uh, so uh, as I said before, uh, press the like button if you would like me to record another video in which I will review different uh, PhD degrees in terms of uh, the graduate employability. Also hit the like button if you generally like this video. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing.